Greetings from the corner of Royer Street and Del Norte. Cheers. In two days, I'm going to go hike Pikes Peak, that mountain right there. And uh, I can hardly wait. Every once in a while, we have to eat oatmeal, also known as a superfood. Mmm. Because we know it's a super day ahead of us. And I've got about a six mile walk and about 3,000 feet of elevation. I'm back in front of Mantu Elementary School. It's my favorite place to park the car before an epic adventure. Alrighty, here we are at the Twin Spring. This is my favorite watering hole. As you can see, there's a bunch of different uh, minerals in the water. This is where I'm uh, filling up uh, my liter and a half water bottle. This one was empty before I started the hike. This one right here is full, so I've got about three liters of water. This is Big Bertha. Hiked with uh, this uh, 60 liter backpack before in Nepal, and happy to hike with it again. We've got some down mittens just in case it gets really ugly at the top, and some micro spikes, which I think I'm gonna wear on the snow. And right now I'm just wearing some uh, wool liners with these uh, mittens right here, and this is some free pizza. So. Look forward to my hike. I'm almost at the trailhead. Here's the beginning of the bar trail. Don't worry. Only 12.5 more miles to the top. Here's my first step. There it is. A couple snow flurries. I'm not sure if you can see them. It's a beautiful day to be hiking in Colorado. Here I am on the side of the trail. Just wanted to show you some happy little trees. I think Bob Ross would be really proud right about now. This is the sign I was looking for. Today I'm actually gonna go to the left. Normally I go to the right. And here's the fork. So, never been down this part of the trail. I think I've gone roughly about three miles. And it is one beautiful winter day. And when you're indeed finished admiring the boulder, take the micro spikes off because most of the trail looks like this. I guess I forgot to mention it's the beginning of March. And uh, if you do a big hike like this, always make sure you eat a real breakfast. Today I had two eggs, three pieces of uh, turkey bacon, two beets, and some pineapple along with that oatmeal I had in the car. So I'm really grateful for some good protein and calories. And uh, again, there's less people on this part of the trail. I did see a bunch of people jogging and hiking earlier this morning. So when I was learning about this trail, one of the things they mentioned was Keyhole Rock. And I believe this is it. Sometimes it's okay to take a load off your shoulders and eat some cold pizza. Anyway, it's been really nice and uh, I've enjoyed the trail up to about here. And that is where I am going. I hope I don't run into Jack Nicholson, but uh, if I do, I will be ready. Here's Johnny.
Good afternoon, boys and girls. I've been hiking for about three hours now. I had to get the sunglasses out because as you can tell, the snow is pretty bright. Um, it's really peaceful. These trees behind me don't really have any snow. So conditions are pretty nice. I can still see the trail ahead of me. And uh, really grateful to be healthy and hiking. In the distance there is the mountain I am trying to hike, Pike's Peak. I'm gonna zoom in here and try and show you the uh, visitor center. It's that little building at the top, right in the middle of the screen. That's where I'm gonna try and summit tomorrow. Really excited to see the mountain for the first time today. I'm living in a cloud for the last three and a half hours, so very happy the sun came out. For right now, I'm on the south side of a ridge. I'm really enjoying it. It's got really green around here. All the snow has melted. That's the beautiful thing about being on the south side. No more snow. So, enjoying the journey. Catch you later. So here I am inside of the bar camp. I made it. I only hiked six miles today, plus an extra mile in Manitou. But I got myself a cup of tea, so that's pretty awesome. And I'll just show you where I'm staying. Oh, apparently, I am the only one who's here right now. Yes, that's my backpack. So anyway, there's my sleeping bag, and uh, I'm pretty excited to be inside. So we'll see if I can make it tomorrow. I'd be the first one to make it in about a month. So I think I've got it cut out for me. So here is the bar camp that I stayed at last night. Change of plans. I'm not going to go to the top of uh, Pikes Peak. I'm actually just going to hike back down to the car in Manatee Springs. Um, good experience, but definitely would do this in summer. And right out there is the outhouse. It's where you go in the middle of the night when you gotta go to the bathroom. Only six more miles to go and uh, back in civilization. Hi, hi. Thankfully, I made it home in one piece and I just wanted to go over some things I learned from this hike that I don't learn on every hike. This right here is my sleeping bag and it says it's rated for 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that cabin felt a lot colder than 20 degrees and I didn't really sleep well. So next time I think I'd get an extra liner to put in it or consider uh, common sense telling me they might not heat the cabin. Um, when I was there, I was very surprised it smelled like skunk. Uh, I think that also kept me up a little bit. Uh, when my nose did work, I did uh, say, man, what's that smell? Um, so I think a good night's sleep really helps, and if you're not staying warm at night, you're in a lot of trouble. I would also say uh, if you know the weather is about uh, 55 mile an hour consistent winds and uh, maybe 80 mile an hour wind gusts, you're probably not going to go out and summit the mountain. So I wasn't aware of that when I left the house, and uh, you should always take these things into consideration. So you don't become a uh, search and rescue 101. Other than that, uh, I had a really good hike today. The sun came out, all the clouds went away, all the snow was melting, but um, yep, you should just be happy once in a while that you didn't follow your ego and you didn't get in trouble. And nothing bad happened to you and you made it home in one piece. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks so much. Hi, hi.